Cheryl, tell us what's going on at St. Joe's Bread Alive. Gosh, we have the 10th annual Oktoberfest coming up. 10 years, I can't even believe it. And it seems like we just did it, but here we are again. On this stage, we are going to have traditional German music, uh, which uh, Augsburg German Band, they're out of Pittsburgh. Um, the Mad Bavarian, which is, you know, everybody loves him. He's down in Pittsburgh. He does all of the festivals around here. And then in the evenings, we're going to have some uh, pop music. We'll have Jackson Station on Saturday evening. Friday evening, we're having a new band. It's called The Last Band Standing. So they'll be here from uh, 8 until midnight. Their Germans are big on wine. They are. Funny you should mention that. Yes, they are. We not only have, last year we introduced the wine experience, which is right next to our beer tent, but the other thing that we're going to be doing this year is we're going to be raffling off some wine. Uh, Cheryl, tell us all about the great food here at the Oktoberfest this year. Everybody does something for this festival, and our food is authentic. That's one thing that we can say. They start a week ahead, and oh my gosh, does it smell good here. St. Joe's Bread of Life does something very special. It's your main fundraiser of the year, this Oktoberfest. But you use this fundraiser to also help our community. Can you tell us about that? So what we do is we take 10% of whatever we make on the festival um, and we give it to a local charity. And this year our charity is going to be Emmaus uh, Soup Kitchen. Why should people come to the Oktoberfest? Because it's fun. We have a grand time. Again, 10 years. I mean, we wouldn't do this if it wasn't fun. So come join us, have fun, bring the family, enjoy.